If you are sick and tired of getting a cold this cold and flu season, then you might want to stay with us for a little while. Now, the average person has around 150 colds through their entire lifetime, but the duration, severity, and frequency of your cold can be greatly reduced by naturally boosting your immune system. Introducing our top five ways to naturally improve your immune system and fight the common cold this cold and flu season. Number one, bone broth, baby. It turns out that chicken soup isn't just good for the soul. There's a reason why broths and soups have been used for centuries around the world in common cultures um, and prescribed by doctors to improve your immune system. That's because bone broths are easy to digest, nutritionally dense, and amazing for healing. In fact, a study done in the journal Chest indicated that by eating chicken soup when you have an upper respiratory tract infection, it actually will reduce the rate of this infection and reduce white blood cells, which is the cell responsible when you have a cold or flu. As far as bone broths go, of course you can make your own. However, we recommend a little bit of a cheat way, and that is by getting some meadow and marrow bone broth. It's actually a concentrate that you can put in some water and instantly have a cup of beautiful healing bone broth. Tip number two, fast. Fasting has been used by cultures all around the world for centuries. In fact, the ancient Egyptians and alike, um, they would fast and refrain from eating food whenever they were sick because they believed that it helped their healing ability. And it seems now that the research is catching up. In fact, according to a study done in cell, and this study was done on both mice and humans, it showed that a prolonged period of fasting actually reduced your white blood cells. Conclusions suggested that by fasting to around two to four days actually benefit your immune system and reset your immune system in both healthy people and chemotherapy patients. And you know, there's a reason why when you look at your pet and they're feeling unwell that they don't eat. It's naturally what the body will do, um, suppressing your appetite so that it can heal more effectively. So what might this look like for you? Well, I'm not saying you don't have to eat anything um, when you're sick, but maybe that might look like some soups or uh, some juices instead of heavy meals. And by incorporating some fasting and going back to our original blog on intermittent fasting, throughout your lifestyle, weekly, monthly, then your immune system is going to be really strong and healthy for this flu season. Tip number three, get some Z's. It is no surprise that this one makes the list and for good reason. In fact, all of your healing is done while you're asleep. So getting good quality sleep for around seven to nine hours is absolutely crucial for your immune system. Tip number four, build your good gut bacteria army. When a sudden cold leaves you sneezing and coughing, your microbiome is probably the last thing that you're thinking about. However, did you know that around 70% of your immune system is housed through the bacteria of your gut wall? So essentially, if these bacteria are sick, then you're sick. So to boost your good gut bacteria in your gut, then diversity is absolutely crucial. So first, by starting with a good quality diet of wholesome foods, whole foods, um, organic when possible, lots of fruit and vegetables, and then minimizing the things like your sugar and your processed wheat and alcohol is going to be very beneficial to just build those building blocks of your immune system. Next, add in gut boosting foods. Things like kefir, uh, sauerkraut, bone broth, even broccoli and seaweed can be fantastic things if added into your diet regularly um, that will really, really improve the health of your gut and of course your immune system. Lastly, tip number five, soak in the sunshine. Vitamin D is an essential immune system modulator, which means that it's an essential vitamin to help fight off infection and regulate your autoimmunity. My best suggestion would, of course, just to be getting out in the sun for around 20 minutes a day and in hours that the sun isn't high in the sky. So for example, morning and evening. Um, if you can't get out in the sun or you're, where you're from isn't so sunny, then having a supplement uh, of vitamin D is crucial. So there you have it, everything immune boosting potential. Now, if you feel like this information was helpful for you or there's someone that you know who needs some help with their immune system, make sure you share this vlog with them. Leave a comment for us. Um, we absolutely love to hear your feedback. And that's it from us today. Stay tuned for next week's vlog. This is Dr. Jacinta from Open Space Healing. 
Bye for now. Um, when you have an upper respiratory tract infection. <laughs> For good reason. Reason. <laughs> Tip number four. Build your good bacteria. Bacteria? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay.